We should probably do some sort of introduction. Like, hi, everybody. I'm Patricia. Hi, I'm Lee. <laughs> <laughs> and we're weird as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you probably should, I guess. So. Yeah. Because someday we might be famous. <laughs> 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 okay. So. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Way to go, honey. <laughs> At least I only said it and I wasn't doing it. So, Although I'm told that in some states it can get you out of a ticket. But anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So are you ready to hear your favorite, favorite segment? Sure. What's that? Okay, your second favorite se segment. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you I will do the stories about things that we have found in people's butts, but not <laughs> I don't understand you. How can you be so dignified sometimes? And <laughs> well, I'm dignified most of the time. <laughs> That's a rare occurrence. <laughs> well, I just mean you're a little bit more composed in public, and then I get you alone, and I have to explain in interviews the most embarrassing thing that they would find on my computer. <laughs> X-rays that my husband and I were looking through of things found in people's butts. Future segment. Everybody will be looking forward to that one. <laughs> send us your thoughts. <laughs> in the meantime, <laughs> I thought we'd do some glitches in the Matrix. Mm, Ready okay. to get glitchy? Get glitchy with it. Okay. That was weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... This one was posted by to I found this one on Reddit posted by Selection Fluid six eight eight nine Selection Fluid that's a word yeah I like people who get creative with with their names um, this one's titled the car vanished right in front of us my friends and I were driving down a long country road tonight I'm driving my friend is in the passenger side and my other friend in the left behind me. It's snowing pretty hard and it's pitch black out, so I turned on my high beams as we approach a blind hill. Do not drive with your high beams on in the snow. Yeah. Don't. Get fog lights. Yeah. It's just my public service announcement to you. Don't do it. It causes extensive reflection and you can't see the freaking road. Don't do it. Well, there's a lot of stupid people out there. Well, maybe they're just young and they just don't know. Don't know. Probably should be able to figure that out. Um, so. Yeah, when you turn on your high beams <laughs> and you can't see anymore, think to yourself, hmm, maybe you should turn them on. Duh. That's a little tip from me to you. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so we're on the top of the hill, meaning we aren't completely lost. Oh, wait a minute. I was looking at the wrong sentence. Okay, so they're on and they approach a blind hill. Just before the blind hill, my friend and I comment on how we can see a car's headlights on the top of the hill, meaning we aren't completely lost. We continue to drive up said hill and nothing. No car passed us on the left and no headlights are seen in the distance in front of us. To our left and right are heavily wooded and no streets or driveways. My friends and I look at each other and give a, hmm, look. My friend goes, you saw that, right? You saw a car's headlights just before the hill, and now they're gone. Again, we all agreed that we saw the same headlights, but it's like they just vanished. I slowed my car, and we looked around. The only way the car could have gone is straight past us to our left, or in the direction we were going. The lights we saw were the front, not the rear, meaning the car would have been facing us. But nope, never saw it go past, and no lights in the distance as far as we could see. As we kept driving and looking around, there was no possible way the car could have gone left or right. And due to the speed we were traveling, it could have turned around. It couldn't have turned around and sped off before we could catch a glimpse of the headlights. Unless it spun out. Unless it spun out and its nose down in a ditch, or if that was the reflection of your own fucking headlights because you had your high beams on in a snowstorm. Uh huh. So yeah, that one kind of sounds like a little bit of a. I, I included that one because maybe a glitch in the matrix. Or maybe, just maybe, 
<laughs> don't drive with your high beams on in a snowstorm. Yeah. Because you'll see weird stuff. And I don't mean Yeti running across the road in front of you. I mean the reflection of headlights that don't really exist. <laughs> Just saying. Don't drive with your high beams on in a snowstorm. But maybe it was a glitch. Who knows? Not. Yeah. I, I included that one because it was questionable, but also because maybe we could keep somebody from dying. Okay? Yeah. It's a bad idea. Public service announcement. It's our public service announcement. <laughs> Um, this one is entitled Mysterious Cat. And this one was sent to us. And they asked that we not mention their name, so I won't. A few years ago, I had to euthanize my sick and elderly cat. During that time of my life, I was going through a divorce and I cried a lot. My cat always knew when I was crying and would comfort me by finding me to sit on my lap and purr. Aww. <laughs> Women always do that. Oh. <laughs> that's that's a universally understood <laughs> expression of sympathy. Or isn't that cute? Or there's a lot of things that they go aw about. I didn't aw. I said aw. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> Those are different noises. <laughs> okay. Back to our story. <laughs> My soon-to-be ex-husband went to the vet with me on the day of the, ca of the cat's euthanization. Before the event, the vet asked us if you want to watch the cat being put down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you don't want to, but I've I've read many stories from vets who say that, I mean, imagine. If you were there with it, it would make it easier. It for makes the, it easier on the them because cat. they look for you. Yeah. They're afraid and they're looking for you. And so, no, I wouldn't want to watch it. But I would feel that I, I needed to be there for somebody who had given me so much comfort, you know? Yeah. I can see that. So he said yes. She said no. And he stayed in the exam room while she went down the hallway and cried. A lot. <laughs> I would. After a few minutes, I was let back into the exam room to see my deceased cat wrapped in a white towel. As I looked at the cat, I heard purring. This was loud purring as if it was being piped in through the speakers. It seemed so distasteful that I was about to say, turn that off, when I looked at the vet's face and my ex's face and realized that I was the only person that could hear the sound. I like to think that it was my cat comforting me for one final time before she went on. Does it sound like glitches in the Matrix too much? Well, it does if you're hearing a sound that's outside of... Of the norm. I, I wasn't sure whether to file that one under, you know, slightly paranormal wishful thinking or something that shouldn't exist. A glitch in the matrix, matrix tex technically is any. I cannot speak. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, a glitch in the matrix is technically anything that exists where it shouldn't or doesn't exist where it should. In this case, it was a sound that shouldn't have been there. Yeah. And she found comfort. So there's that. This one is entitled Beyond Comprehension. And it says, so this morning I experienced what I felt like was a glitch in the matrix. I woke Oh, sorry. This one was also sent to us. I woke up at about 1030 in the morning and I remained in bed for about an hour, as you do, um, then got up to use the restroom. <laughs> I wish I could stay in bed for an hour when I had to pee. Usually that's what wakes me up. Yeah. Staying in bed for an hour is not an option. Last two mornings have been that way. Not unless I want to change the sheets. And I don't. And I never can go back to sleep. I know. It pisses me off. Yes, every time. And then I just lay there and get angry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so on my way to the restroom, I checked the time on my phone and read 1130. Okay, so that tracks. Woke up at 1030, laid in bed for an hour. It's now 1130. Also, I need to say that I'm jealous that they got to sleep until 1030 in the first place. I slept until 6.30 this morning. Um, I decided I was going to go get some coffee before it got too late. I don't like to drink coffee too late in the afternoon because then you can't sleep till 10.30 apparently. So I go back to my room, throw in some clothes and hop in my car. I turned the car on and the clock read 1 p.m. That's weird. So an hour and a half to pee. <laughs> That's one long piss. <laughs> yeah. I was like, no way. Then I thought maybe I hadn't my hadn't changed my clock since daylight savings time. But no, I checked my phone and it also read 1 p.m. Still confused, I went and got my coffee anyway. Fast forward to a little while ago, I glanced at the clock and it reads 4.30. Realizing I only have 30 more minutes to go and 
left to go on my shift. For more clarification, my shift was two to five. That must be nice. Um, unless you're trying to pay bills, then it's not so nice. Um, <laughs> I set an alarm on my phone to remind me to clock out at 5 p.m. Not even five minutes after setting my phone down, the alarm went off. And I thought, what the heck? Did I set it for the wrong time? And I looked at the clock and it read 5 p.m. So in the time that it took them to set the alarm and put the phone down, 30 minutes had passed. I've moved slowly, but well. It's definitely weird. I checked my computer and the tablet and they all read the same time as well. I simply cannot comprehend what happened and it's all very weird. I agree. That was a fast day. Yeah. I mean, I wish my <laughs> days would go out fast. I mean, I definitely have days where I perceive the passage of time differently. Yeah. It'll you know, drag. I, I've had days where I worked my tail off and got a ton done and then look at the clock and it's like 9 a.m. And I think, no, <laughs> no. And other days where it seems like I glance up at the clock and it's suddenly 2.30. So this one says, I think I lagged in real life this morning and I can't stop thinking about it. This one was cool. Okay. Sir, so first off. Oh, sorry. This one came from Reddit and it was, um, why care or share is their username. Apparently, they like to share at least. I don't know if they care, but they shared. So first off, sorry if the formatting is weird. I'm on mobile. I'll try to keep it short. Backstory. I was alone at home and I decided to take a shower. I forgot to take my towel with me and decided it doesn't matter since I'm home alone anyway, except you're dragging water through the house and making a mess and it's not good for the carpet, but I do this. <laughs> um, I finish off of my shower and head to my bedroom, which is maybe 13 steps away from the washroom. As soon as I step out of the washroom, the electricity in the house goes out, but of course it did, um, but it's midday. So the sunlight through the windows is more than enough. As I step into my room, I hear my parents enter the house and I'm like, yikes. So I quickly lock my room because I'm changing. Now my room is adjacent to the sunlight. So there's no direct light in my room and it's pretty dark, but there's a glow around the window blinds. Here's where it gets weird. I wipe my hair and face off with a towel facing the window and I can see the strips of light from the blinds. So are you picturing what they're seeing? Yeah. Okay. Then I do a whole 180 to face the wardrobe, which should be dark, but I'm still seeing the light from the blinds. I put my hands out and touch the handles of the cupboard, but my eyes are still seeing the windows. At this point, I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I focus on my hands and whoops. It focuses like a video game, lags, then readjusts pixel by pixel. I mean, Minecraft block size, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I feel this ease in my eyes. And I'm just really confused. But I go on and put my pants on first, then my shirt, and then it happens again. My eyes are stuck on the view of the inside of the shirt. Like when your head's in the shirt and it's dark, but you can see through the cloth. I touch my face to make sure there's no cloth over my eyes and there's nothing. My eyes are wide open and I can't see. All I can see is the inside of my shirt. I'm freaking out at this point and I stumble all across the room. I'm still just seeing the inside of the shirt. I hear the AC switch on so I know the lights are back on and I find the switch and flick it on but I can't see anything, just the inside of my shirt, which is on my body, not my face. I unlock my room and call for my mom because, of course, <laughs> um, the second she appears in the hallway, my vision slides and it's OK again. I can see everything perfectly. My eyes feel normal. I don't know what the hell it was. I don't know if this could be a symptom of some vision related medical issue. <laughs> Should I go to a doctor? I literally felt like a video game being played with shitty Wi-Fi. That's a weird one. I thought that was real weird. That to me was the most glitchy of glitches that we've had so far. They literally glitched. Okay. So this one was also from Reddit and it's posted by Mango Fruity Licious. <laughs> Mango Fruity Licious. <laughs> and it's entitled Ring Ring Hello. December 23rd, 2008, 7.36 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do like a detail. I was sitting on the floor in the den, finishing up wrapping Christmas gifts for my children. Their father was sitting in a recliner chair behind me, also wrapping gifts. My cell phone rang. I glanced down and saw what came up as an unknown number, so I didn't answer it. 
It immediately rang again with the same unknown number, but this time I decided to answer. Hello, I said. It was a man's voice. He asked for me by name, and I said that it was indeed me. He then asked if I was sitting down. I remember at the time that this was such an odd question to ask, and I confirmed that I was indeed sitting down. <laughs> he then proceeded to tell me that one of my best friends had been killed in a car crash and said she wanted you, know, you to know. I apologize for the news. And then the line disconnected. My heart dropped and my face must have reflected it because my husband moved from his chair and asked me if I was all right. I told him what the man had said and he hugged me. We finished wrapping and eventually went to bed to try to sleep. The next morning, my phone... I w see, I would have called my best friend and asked yeah, him what the heck was going on. I would have called their family and found out what Well, I would have called her happened. first. Or him. First. Yeah, I wouldn't and, believe some stranger. Yeah, no. No. Yeah. But, you know, if you're in shock... People people behave differently. Maybe she just kind of blew it off as, well, that was weird. And just went on with her day. Um, the next morning, my phone rang again, and it was my best friend's mother. She was calling to tell me the news. <laughs> when I said that I already knew, she asked me how, and I explained the phone call from the evening before. She said it was impossible and went silent for a few moments, moments before explaining that my best friend, who had moved from the East Coast to Alaska several months prior... And that's where she had passed, was killed in a car accident upon impact. The time of her accident was 3.36 p.m., the exact moment that my phone rang on the East Coast at 7.36 p.m. Because it's four hours difference between the East Coast and Alaska. So she found out before the family found out. It's weird. Yeah. I thought maybe it was the EMS first responder on scene, but no, they're not allowed to make notifications until after the body was identified and confirmed, which took overnight. And her mother was the first person to be notified in the morning. Was it a glitch, a ghost, an angel? No one knows, but I will never forget that day, and it changed my life forever. So I've actually heard that happen a few times, where people, well, we talked about it with um, the episode on near-death experiences, where people had communication mm, yeah. from someone who had passed on mm -hmm. which you would think if she wanted you to know that it would have been her that contacted you you would think so unless okay let's let's say for the sake of argument that it is a spirit okay that we are spirits that continue to exist after our bodies have ceased to be i would imagine that initially that's probably pretty disorienting but no? you wouldn't sound like a guy. No, no. I mean, but if somebody was there. Okay, a lot of religions and many individuals have the theory that when we pass away, that there is an entity, whether it's a relative, an angel, whatever your faith tells you, um, waiting for you to help guide you to wherever we go next, right? Yeah. So maybe it's whomever was supposed to guide her made the call. Yeah, I don't know. it's weird. I thought that was a really weird one. I thought it was also rather comforting. I mean, if it's, I, I don't, there's so many of these glitches that I read that I'm not sure if they're really a glitch or if they're supernatural or if somebody's just mistaken. There's a lot of them that I read that I think, like the first one. No, you're just an idiot. Turn your lights down. Don't drive like that. You're going to see things. Yeah, some of them sound like they could be ghosts, like the purring of the cat. Yeah, occasionally they just sound like they're super high. <laughs> we sat in the restaurant and we were paranoid for the next three hours. Yeah, what did you drop before you went to the restaurant? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> you know, so there's there's some of that. But um, sometimes, like the one with the shirt, the, it's just so yeah, weird. Yeah, that would be really strange. That would be really strange. And you would you think don't... if it was some vision-related issue that you would have... Like I found when I was drinking um, the Bang energy drinks that I would get halos around my eyes. And I thought I was losing my vision. But it was just from whatever was in the energy drink was... The fuck was in that shit to do that to you? Oh, I'm not drinking them anymore. That was scary. Yeah, when, when she saw the reflection of the window when she turned the other way, you can see that when... It's just like a flash of light. Yeah, if it's You'll kind of see burned it into several your times yeah. for a while while you blink. Yeah. But when she got the shirt over her face, that's not something that would 
make any sense. Yeah, no, that's the one that really that's, got me because that would... And the what's, blocks and crap. Yeah, once the shirt is off your face, you would think in the per, their periphery, they would see the window. Yeah, and so if you fill your face and it's not there, yeah, that would, that's weird. And you flip on the light switch, you would imagine that you'd see, you know, a brighter light at the very least, even if something is obstructing your vision. Yeah. But no, they saw the inside of their shirt, which is, it's weird. It does sound very much like they lagged. Yeah. Okay, so this is the last one. So I was in the grocery store. Oh, and this one was sent to us. This is not deja vu. Um, Quite a few sent to us. Yeah. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Um, I was in the grocery store shopping for my dad's promotion party with my mom. She wanted my opinion on banana-based chips. They're delicious, by the way. They are. They're too hard. It depends on where you get them from. I hate the hard, crunchy I ones. I hate the hard, crunchy ones, too. I've had some that were really good. They, like, cut you, the roof of your mouth and shit. <laughs> They're so fucking hard. Weird as fuck, where we tell you strange tales and give you food recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat the crunchy ones. They suck. <laughs> if you're just tuning in, we're talking about banana chips. <laughs> okay. Um, the moment I saw the can of chips, I swear I'm not making this up. The scene flashed before my eyes in black and white of my sister holding up that same can and waving it around gr- aggressively in our living room. When I came to, my mom was still holding the can and asking me the same question, using the same words and in the same tone. So not saying, did you hear me? I said, you know, you you get kind of annoyed. Yeah. <laughs> Are you paying attention? Um, So they were having the same conversation as if the whole world had paused and rewound for two seconds right before I saw that vision. I guess my mom could have just been repeating herself. I don't know, but it felt weird. Um, (laughs) I was super confused. And as you'd imagine, and I don't remember whether I shrugged it off or responded. We bought the chips eventually. We got back home. I wonder where they are because we don't have chip banana chips in a can. Ours are in a bag. Yeah, most of them I've seen, but you could put them in a game. Well, yeah, but... There might be some somewhere, just not around here. I haven't done a lot of banana chip shopping. Yeah, I pretty much ate them once and said, fuck that, and I'm not eating them again. Wow, listen to us totally butcher this story with our own little anecdotes. Let me go back to what they were saying. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Um, We got back home and I forgot all about the incident. We were super excited preparing for the celebration. We started opening packs, arranging balloons, stealing snacks, and lo and behold, my sister snatched the same banana chip can out of someone's hand, waved it around, warning us not to steal food before the party. Just like in my vision, I gawked. I'm sure people would think of my that I was out of my mind, but I can't explain what the hell happened. <laughs> so I've had that actually happen to me a couple of times. Um, and I don't know if it's just because... They're so familiar with their sister that their brain was able to sort of predict what they were going to do. Um, I had a vision once, and I know this is lame as far as visions go. It wasn't like the end of the world. I didn't save anybody's life. I put my coffee down on the rail so I could unlock the front door. And I had a vision of my coffee falling off the rail. Which is tragic when you consider how much Starbucks coffee costs. But I put it there. I made it, made sure it was secure. I've done it a hundred times. And I thought, oh, I'm just being stupid. I turn around, I unlock the front door and I turn back around to get my coffee and I watch in horror as it falls into <laughs> the flower bed. My $7 coffee now watering the black eyed Susans. I've had that happen a few times, but my psychic powers are apparently just really lame. You don't listen to them. <laughs> no. And I paid the price. No coffee for me. Seven dollar coffee. I know. It was so sad and I needed it so badly. But anyway, that's our glitches in the matrix for April. Nothing earth shattering, a couple of weird ones that I thought you'd enjoy. Yeah, nothing like an uh, airplane disappearing like last time. That was cool. That was a real glitch in the matrix when something like the airplanes and shit disappear. It's weird. Yeah. Well, you know, I've also wondered, you know, sometimes how much of this is our perception? How much of it is, like I said, something supernatural? How much of it is our assumptions? We assume that something should be a certain way and then our minds break a little bit when it doesn't go the way that we think it should. Or you just spaced off and then. 
well, thought in- everything was gone when you just spaced off for a couple of minutes. And- yeah. I mean, in that case, they were watching the airplane because yeah. they were afraid that it looked like it was going to land on them and suddenly it was gone. That was a good one. But anyway, that's Glitches in the Matrix for April 2021. <laughs> What'd you think? It was pretty good. Didn't seem like a lot of more glitches, though. They're more supernaturally than than glitchy this yeah. time. I wanted something, you know, the year so far has been so rough. Completely I wanted something completely fucked up. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think that 2021 was going to be just magically superior to 2020, but I thought it would be a little better. Oh God, no! God forbid that. Yes. It's going to be another fucked year. Yeehaw. Like I said in March 2021, I do believe that we live in in the Matrix. I do honestly believe in simulation theory, and I think that our programmer is some little prepubescent twat living in his mother's basement who's just fucking with us all. I do. <laughs> and that would explain the poor script writing. It really does. I'm right. okay thanks for listening join us like us like us follow us follow us (laughs) bye bye want to stay connected between shows you can find us on instagram at weird as fck podcast on twitter at weird as fuck pod one on Facebook at Weird as FCK Podcast. Send us an email at Weird as FCK Podcast at gmail.com or come on over to our website at www.weirdasfck.com. There you can check out our blog, pick up some merch, look over our sources, and even share your weird experiences. You might even make it on a future episode. We would love to hear from you. Until then, tune in and keep it weird.